Do you trust the people? No, but I trust the people a whole lot more than I trust the politicians. Well, that would cause anarchy. You expect these fools to legislate themselves? Representative government is designed to keep citizens in civic adolescence. You can't do it, but let us do it. I'm always put off by the fact that, oh, we got to take back America. Hell, we never had it. Most people understand that the public has been distanced from our government. A majority of the American public is almost always on one side, and what our government does, what Congress or the Supreme Court or the President does, is on the other side. Uh, so something's broken. We have to have a way for people to participate. In every single state, by at least a two-to-one margin, the voters favor initiative and referendum. Initiative is uh, uh, promoted and uh, instigated by the people. A referendum is referred, uh, usually by the legislature. It gives citizens the opportunity to, to do something and take something they feel passionately about to the ballot. It's about having an election system that invites people to participate, to have a competitive democracy. It was designed to give the people an opportunity to enact legislation that the legislature would not uh, enact. Pass a law, suffer the consequences, or suffer the enjoyments of it. Everybody of us has power. It's not just choosing between Pepsi Cola and Coca Cola or Diet Cola. Women's right to uh, vote, uh, child labor laws, sunshine laws on campaign finance reform, uh, environmental laws comes from the people. It doesn't come from the politicians. It is about having a system in which any citizen who has a better idea has a way to take that idea to the marketplace. An initiative cannot be corrupted because it cannot change. The language is the same from the beginning until the end. When you commercialize things, you really negate at least a good part of a novel concept like democracy and people's participation. Which one? Corporate fascism. Come on, the come on now, well, let's, let's cut the level. crap out. Uh, oh, well, the Cylons would run corporate capital America, and we would rule the world. Trust us, humans. Trust us. I would suggest we need to accept that we're never going to realize full popular sovereignty. And we need to learn to think about popular empowerment and justice from a standpoint where it's not going to be the case that uh, the people rule over themselves. Midway through the election cycle in 2006, I kind of threw up my hands at how voters are treated every step of the way in terms of the information that they receive. The broken media reflects the broken political system. I'm also struck by how much the folks arguing with each other across the ideological stream, to my ears, sound the same. I think the zombies are America during the Bush Gore years, during the Bush Gore debates. When people said, oh, they're the same, they're exactly the same. So the one who makes himself uh, not accountable is making himself God, and according to Islam, there is only one God. So the pharaohs have returned, huh? Yes, <laughs> it is Egypt. <laughs> yes, well, uh, if he had become a lobbyist and made some money, then I guess I'd be an elite. <laughs> I love America, and I love Americans, and I, what I love about them the most is that they're so fiercely proud to be Americans, and, and will support each other, come what may. We should look at the initiative and referendum not as a last resort, after the failure of representative uh, government, but as a first resort uh, to in, in, in institutionalize popular sovereignty. There is something to be said for proposals like NI40 which want more democracy, more direct democracy. I would support the effort to, to uh, move forward and become more inclusive, more participatory. They can't come into the executive that's limited, obviously. They can't come into the judiciary because that's, that's also limited. But there's nothing stopping the people from, in an organized, deliberative fashion, uh, making laws, following the procedures of the Citizens' Procedures Act to, to, to enact laws. I think that allowing direct participation in laws is a good step forward. How you do it is a non-trivial issue and it's not part of our constitutional framework, so it, we can't lightly move in that, in that direction. Why not now? I mean, why, why haven't the American politicians grasped this and used it as a platform? You, you don't have to regulate it. You change the system, the money system, the tax system, the legal system, the corporate laws, the labor laws. They're all barriers to broad-based 
ownership of the means There's of no the point in regulating a defective institution. Which way should this country take? What do we want, we the people, because we are the sufferings? This is direct democracy. I, of course, am going to oppose all political reform. And I said, why? This is not a perfect system. And he said, you're right. It's not a perfect system. But it's the system that elected me. <laughs>